My camp name is Adianse, Adi for short. A couple of students called me Adianse because of my love of Beyonce. I was like, I kind of like that, and it's a camp name, so I picked it and it stuck. So I came to Caldera a different route than most people. I started through an organization called Haven Project, and after that organization ended, camp director at the time, KK, she invited us to come back as campers, so I started Immersion in 2005. It was just a great experience because I started meeting a lot of people. When the Haven Project, it was all Portland kids. When I started coming to Immersion, it was kids from Central Oregon as well. So I met some really cool people that I never would have met before. Adi and Asha, or Ooh La La, were really close friends. When I met them, Asha was in my um, TP group and Adi was actually in somebody else's TP group. But because they were really close, I got to know Adi pretty quickly. When I first met her, she was kind of quiet, reserved, and I just love to see that transformation of where she has changed, being someone very quiet and shy, and being like a supervisor, like leading a team of people. When I started Caldera, I started as a camper, of course. After I graduated high school, I came back and visited for weekends. And ever since then, I've come back in different roles as a junior advocate, I've also been an advocate, and now I'm an advocate supervisor. As long as I can remember, I liked working with youth, and I liked helping people. Adi is a coworker, but also like a little sister. She's someone who I have both supervised and learned a lot from. I think having someone like her, who has been a camper, who has been through the program, just seeing that as a mentor, that if she can do it, they can do it. Education is very important, and that could be part of the cultural too, you know, coming from Jamaica. That was just like number one. I made sure even on her trips to Caldera or camp or whatever she was doing, you got to get that homework done. You know, it was always a priority or else you weren't going. <laughs> One weekend there was a leadership retreat. My mom didn't want me to go because I had a lot of homework to do. And so Magic and I convinced Esalen to let us take Adi on this leadership event if we promised she would study. And what it meant was that there was a drive back on a bus where we had to turn all the lights on so that Adi could study on the drive home. At the time, it was kind of annoying because <laughs> I didn't want to do homework. But it was great because it just showed that there's such a connection with family and wanting the best for the Caldera students, whether it's art, through its school, just supporting in any way necessary. As long as I can remember, I said I want to go to Howard University. And I knew by Christmas that I was going to Howard with a full tuition scholarship. I didn't apply to any other colleges. My mom was so mad. She still wanted me to apply to Oregon School. And I was like, I'm gone. <laughs> I'm sorry. So I applied for the Caldera Scholarship, and that helped me get through my four years of college. Physical therapy school was probably the hardest three years of my life, and there were times where I didn't want to continue. But people that I met here, like Blue, talked me through. It was the support to me. We came up with plans together to help me find self-care and get through those times. And I wouldn't have met Blue if I didn't come here. So her mom called me and said, like, I think it would be a good idea for you to meet with her. And Adi didn't want to talk with me, but I think she was having a really tough time and was really debating, did she want to finish the program? Or was, was she going to be able to finish the program? Because it was so hard. And for Adi to say something is hard academically means it's very hard. <laughs> she knew it would be hard and challenging, but it was just three years, 24 hours school. Now, there were times when she was like, I can't do this, <laughs> you know. It was hard, but she, she persevered. It was amazing to have magic at my white coat ceremony. I honestly didn't expect anyone from Oregon to come because it's so far. It just showed how much she loves me and cares for me and supports me. And it just wants the best for me. And it's amazing that I found that here at Caldera, someone who still cares for me like they're my own family member. There's been a lot of mentors you know, she has in this community, including Katie and Magic and Skills. I think campers look up to Adi, yes. They um, definitely can see her as a role model. And then I think for our students to be able to see that and see the, what is attainable, and, the, and not only that, but to see someone that looks like them, someone that grew up in the same place as them, achieve that, it's pretty powerful. And she was always there to be like this role model for me. And she's inspired me to do so many things and like just be really strong. Adi Yance has supported me through a lot of things. And um, I really appreciate that she listens to me and she's always there for me. I can count on her. But everyone that she has really worked with in this 
Caldera community has made a positive influence. I think Audi would have been great just in different ways without Caldera and I think with Caldera it gave her a clear path or she chose for it to be a clear path to take leadership within Caldera. I have pushed her to do a lot of things a lot of them she did not like <laughs> you know the other program she went and she came home and that was it she didn't give a hundred percent but with Caldera it's it's part of her life. I think Caldera gives kids the opportunity to show up and be at camp and really step forward and take risks and be their whole self and that they can inspire other kids by doing that. Some are similar to Caldera, but the, the uniqueness about Caldera is it's family, it's there forever. That organization has really impacted her. The magic of Caldera is this land and the people that come here every year. They look out for you in any way, whether it's at Caldera, whether it's outside of Caldera, there's always a support system here. And just coming to the actual land of Caldera, it's such a freedom. It's like coming home every year, and I wish I could do it more often than once a year. But yes, it's definitely coming home.